How fast did Apollo 11 travel to the moon? If you're curious about the incredible speed at which Apollo 11 traveled to the moon, you're about to find out some fascinating facts. Let's break it down step by step. Apollo 11 was launched on July 16, 1969, from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. The spacecraft was propelled by a powerful Saturn V rocket, which is one of the most impressive rockets ever built. As the Apollo 11 mission began, the spacecraft first entered into Earth's orbit. After completing one and a half orbits around Earth, the Saturn V's third stage, known as the s fired again to send the spacecraft on a trajectory towards the moon. This critical burn, called the Translunar Injection, TLI, occurred about two hours and 40 for minutes into the mission. Once on its way to the moon, Apollo 11 traveled at an astonishing speed. To put it into perspective, the spacecraft was moving at approximately 2,040 miles per hour, 3,000 to 180 kilometers per hour, as it approached the moon's gravity. This speed was necessary to cover the vast distance between Earth and the moon, which is about 240,000 miles, 380 for 1,000 kilometers. The journey to the moon took about three days. During this time, the astronauts had to perform several course corrections to ensure they were on the right path. On July 19, Apollo 11 entered into lunar orbit, and the crew began preparing for the historic lunar landing. So, to answer your question directly, Apollo 11 traveled to the moon at a speed of about 2,040 miles per hour, 3,000 to 180 kilometers per hour, after the translunar injection burn. This incredible velocity was a key factor in the mission's success, allowing the astronauts to reach the moon in just a few days. The precision and speed of this mission were truly remarkable, marking a significant milestone in space exploration and human achievement.